Last year, Sneeko said some things on the internet that Mr. John Wick wasn't too happy about it. So he went to his room where he keeps all his weapons, he prepared himself, and he made a YouTube video about it. But in Sneeko's response, he picked up his toy and threatened to unalive John Wick's dog. John Wick wasn't too happy about it, and he just picked a very big gun out of his asshole, and he just, everyone jaws just dropped. <laughs> This is the best I can do. I live in GCC. And instead of John Wick going after Sneeko and aliving anyone that comes in his way, they decide to get on a Discord call, handshake it, and go their separate ways. And just a few days ago, the volume 2 of John Wick came out, the rematch, to be more specific, and it was absolutely fucking horrible. The IMDMD on that movie was a 2.5. John Wick goes in for the kill. He shoots himself in the ass. Sneeko tries to kill him, trips and shoots himself, uh, his own feet. It was just chaos. It was absolute with the worst takes ever in this debate that happened a few days ago. Now, I made the whole video about it. We went into deep details, but it's like a 50-something minute video that I released. It's a whole episode of fucking the boys tv show so we're just gonna go through the two horrible bad takes that each of them had in this situation starting off with Sneeko saying that it is okay to for someone 15 years old to marry someone who is 21 not checking a couple boom marry i'm talking about your personal beliefs do you think you do you think someone in their 20s should be able to marry a 15 or 16 year old to someone in their 20s should be, i mean i personally wouldn't do it i, I don't know many people who would do it the maturity for people in the teenagers in, in the West is it's getting much worse, but there are- We're talking globally. Let's just talk globally. Like, do you think it is okay for, and I'm not talking about just you specifically anymore, anyone. Do you think it's okay for anyone in their 20s, an adult, to marry a 15 or 16 year old? A 21 year old, if, if there was a, a marriage where the father consented and the daughter consented, and it was both good on both families and they wanted to do it, why am I gonna get involved? Why should we get the government involved? Well, but why why, why would I tell them if, already, if everybody's you're... consenting, if everybody's okay with it, if the parents are okay with it, if nobody's being harmed, if it's going to be okay, if they're both abiding by, by the rules and they're not hurting each other, why not? For someone personally who doesn't want to be with a 15-year-old, he's fighting so hard for this. It makes you think like he wants to be involved with a 15-year-old, but he's like, I personally don't do it. Basically what he's saying is if the parent consented and a child consented, why not? Why should we stand in their way? They get, they get their period, and the boys, their, their piece turns, turns sticky. They are physically mature enough to marry each other. No, they're not, Stiko. What the fuck? Ugh, started to piss me off, bro. Every single night for the past six months, my nose is blocked. Anyway, the reason I'm against it is because mentally they're children. Doesn't matter if you're Peter Sticky or what. Even after 18, you're still a child, but you're still learning every single day. The reason I say marriage is not a go-go before 18 years old. 18 years old, it's a law. It's a green light. You can if you want to. But majority of people, even when they get married at 18, 19, 20, 21, majority of them divorce because they're still too young to get married and Sticko says people under 18 they're allowed to get married but under 18 they're not allowed to chop it off it's the same thing chopping off your thing which he says is you cannot reattach it back same like same way if you get married at 15 you cannot recover from the trauma that you're going to have in your marriage i know exactly what Sticko is referring these things to he's hanging out with that one sheikh who's like 12 years old as long as they have big balance it's a goal, guys, because a thousand or two thousand years ago, people already used to do this. So why do we stop now? Why do we stop? Why do we have a the age of consent at 18 right now? Well, if you if you were to be intimate with a 14 year old or, you know, 13 year old who's got huge hips and huge breasts and huge body. I, I mean, quite frankly, we would say uh, it's not it's not going to have the same effect medically. I mean, no one can make the argument. So for, in other words, you can't marry a hundred year old woman, but you can marry that that girl that's, you know, with the. You can't be this is a European out of you if you go for the girl that's got the hips. And once again, Peter yeah, is very relative. I also want to point out these two donkeys do not represent us. They don't even represent Islam. They're just a bunch of creeps. And Stiko is smart with it. He knows how to he does I guarantee you he doesn't give a shit about the age of like consent, the legal laws or something. He just knows how to press people's buttons to get views and get that money get that cash respect why not and why did charlie take an l because he said that anyone under the age of 18 as long as their parents consent they can cut off their kukumbas do you believe that somebody can go through uh, hormone therapy can they change their gender if they're a child i think that's totally fine as long as everyone is consenting <laughs> as you agree with. okay so as long as everyone parents 
are okay with it and you are okay with it, I am. I think that's totally a familiar decision to make, yeah. Okay, so a child can cut their p***s off and take hormone blockers and change their biology forever, but they can't get married? Well, that's a decision that now extends beyond the family because now you're bringing in a different party. So if you have someone that's your age coming in saying, I want to marry that child, I, yep, I don't think that can happen under any circumstance. So, you, no. But it's still a personal decision. You're still deciding. It's, it's, it's but still, no, no, but it's, no, because there's take a, the other party out of the equation. It's a personal it's decision. If I'm, or if I'm 16 and I personally want to marry this girl, she's beautiful, she's 21 years old, her family wants to do it, my family wants to do it, you're saying, I can't do that. We're both consenting. I'm ready to go. I'm physically mature, but I'm not allowed to marry because Moy says that's that woman's a pet. But if then the next day I leave it, I'm depressed. I want to cut my off. I can go right into the clinic, snip it off and start taking HRT like Chris Tyson. That's a society that makes sense to you. It is. I believe yeah, okay. everyone has complete. Yep. I believe everyone has the right to do with their body, what they want to do. Now, personally, I love Charlie. He's the voice that echoes all around all around the house was of doing chores but charlie yes people could do whatever they want with their body after they're 18 after not before he could have easily won that debate by just saying no they cannot cut it off then stiko has no counter attacks in this situation what you basically said is people can cut it off but uh they cannot get they cannot get married under the age of 18. you are allowed to do whatever you want with your body but when it comes to marrying someone a third person third party involved you're not allowed to do that. Well, guess what, Charlie? A third person in this situation is the parent consenting you to go to another fourth person to cut it off. It just doesn't make sense. I respect Critical for being willing to have the most difficult conversation with the most censored person. It takes balls for mainstream YouTubers to talk to people like me. Okay, calm down. You can get therapy. You can go through the process of making that decision. I thought that's what it was. I thought he was just speaking in hyperbole with the cutting off shit. I thought that's what we were talking about. And then if you decide that's the path you want to take, it is your body, you can do that. You can make that decision once you become of age to make a decision like that. I just don't understand how it got so muddled. Half of the fucking conversation was hyperbole, and apparently that one was literal. Or it's a very malicious attack on what I'm trying to say or misunderstanding. I don't know. I don't know. But I think I'm just going to call it there. All right. Take it easy. Have a good night. After this whole situation, everyone's been absolutely shitting on Charlie. He's been getting around 10 to 15% dislikes on his YouTube videos. But Twitter is 100% mostly... Everyone is... Majority of people are against him. And everyone's just trolling him. Because they think he has a public opinion. He has no voice of himself. And the second, the first thing that what he believes comes out of his mouth, he got cancelled. Now everyone's looking past of what Stiko said and everyone's just focusing on Charlie because Stiko got cancelled too many times. It is boring right now and it is Charlie's first time getting like this much backlash. Everyone's just ju jumping on the whole thing. Now with any YouTuber or content creator who shares their opinions online, every once in a while, you keep farting, you keep farting, then one opinion is going to turn into a shit. Uh, this is Charlie's shit. Do I think it needs to be cancelled for this no this is just an opinion that he has that it can be changed just like people who convert to crash christianity or islam this is an opinion they had before they didn't believe and now they believe charlie said that he thought it was a little for cutting it off but i think he knew but it was just getting backlash and he was just trying to cover up his footsteps i guess and at 100 he changed his mind about the whole thing and he's uh he believes that no one under at the age of 18 needs to get get their cut off and like i said if you're a content creator and you share your thoughts online there are going to be people hating on you disagreeing with you no matter what you say even if you say the right thing some are going to agree with you and some are not going to agree with you and just yesterday the update came out that uh, on someone's patreon i think it was charlie's friend uh partner or something this is what they posted show update goodbye charlie the boys update hey everyone effective immediately charlie has made the decision to leave both the official podcast and red thread he wants to go on an indefinite hiatus to scale back his time spent on the internet basically not overwhelm himself with multiple shit he does a lot of shit on the internet with multiple channels so he just wants to take a break and just focus on his main channels we obviously wish him the best 
for everyone to respect his decision and for all to know that this shop will always be open for him to drop by and shop talk should wish to return the official podcast red threat and criminal stupid are not going anywhere in light of this statement now let me tell you exactly what this means charlie has been posting for the past 17 years daily videos if not two videos a day and has been live streaming doing podcasts doing bunch of shit basically 16 hours of content creation on daily basis and as someone who posts one to two youtube videos on daily basis and has a multiple side hustle jobs that he also goes on daily basis it can get very overwhelming i don't care how much you love what you do it is still you're still going to burn burn out eventually and you need to take a little bit break to come back later on here in the statement says charlie has made the decision it was his choice he didn't get kicked off like He's Boogie2988 or Dr. Disrespect with Midnight Society. No, he decided to leave because he wants to take a step back to take some time off of the internet because it can get very depressing and it can get very overwhelming. And as someone who's currently burnt out sitting here and talking to you, yes, it, it is overwhelming. If I had the luxury, I would, you know, take a few days off and come back, but... <sighs> It is not, sorry Megatron, I, I walked my cat, <laughs> but I'm still an intern on YouTube, so I can't be taking any breaks from this shit. And this is what Stiko posted reply to the whole situation. Moist Critical put out a statement saying he's quitting the internet after our debate. For years, everyone has seen cancel culture attack me and I have never quit. My advice is never take a break and never show weakness. Keep your head up, brother, Moist Critical. Like I said, Stiko is a smart person and a lot of people are falling for his fake shit that he talks on the internet all the time he keeps saying i talk the real talk that no one wants to talk about he talks things for example a majority of people are saying agreeing with something he will come out stand out and disagree with this specific thing why because that person who disagrees with that subject is going to stand out and get all the views and every light is going to be on him he absolutely gives no two shits about whatever he talks or believes. And the strategy of using his personal account saying, Charlie quit after our debate. I destroyed him. But Charlie, keep your head up. Don't worry. But you're a fucking loser. But don't worry. Keep your head up, you loser. Which is absolutely wrong and full of misinformation in this whole statement. He knows English. He knows what he reads. He understands it. But he decides to go with the clickbait just thinking everyone's an absolute donkey and he thinks everyone's an idiot and everyone's going to fall for whatever he says even though it's literally in front of our eyes that charlie made the decision to walk away just from the podcast to take some time only to focus on his content and not be overwhelmed with shit and charlie gives a bad take every once in a while but stiko does it on daily basis i'm still on charlie's team but i think stiko is an absolute idiot but my best guess is because i have friends who are friends with stiko and they hung out with stiko they know how he is in person and the things from what they have told me it is all an act it is all for a show just to get those clicks just to stand out from the crowd makes sense props to him for getting those views and clickbaiting people basically so charlie keep your head up don't get overwhelmed with things because you have the luxury to take some time off if you want to and only make videos about the things you're interested in people are going to hate either way even if i'm talking about something someone will come and be like why do you sound like a donkey with your nose blocked people are going to hate either way they're gonna say oh your background is ugly even though the background has nothing to do with the take that i'm giving do i think it's gonna get canceled no this is just another backlash that a few years from now people are just gonna look back to and make documentary videos about the few times that charlie gave a bad take so i just wanted to share my whole thoughts on this situation and for the people commenting down below in the past few videos saying oh the arab penguin z you know the funny thing i'm not even arab Okay, I'm Kush, just Kush. No Penguin Z, Penguin Z, everyone's their own person. But anyways, just wanted to share my thoughts about this. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you enjoyed these yapping sessions, make sure to drop a sub. And before I leave you, I'm going to give you an outro, which is going to ruin your morning, afternoon, and evening. I'm basically going to piss you off and ruin your whole day. You're welcome, love you. I am a woman, and I use the women's restroom. And I guarantee you, not one of you will stop me. And if you got a problem with it, use a different bathroom. That's all I'm gonna say. I am a woman and I am allowed to use the women's restroom.